Right, so up ahead here somewhere is the exclusion zone, sealed off for years and containing some unknown technology, some futuristic technology gone wrong. And here we are at the Olympic Peninsula, south of the barrier wall. So this technology was discovered in the late 1940s, but something quickly went wrong and by the end of the 1950s, this wall was built and the entire thing was sealed off. So we have no idea what happened on the other side, but hopefully we can get close enough to get some nice pictures. All right, back it up, back it up. I wanna see what this warning says right here. Hi, our levels facility, extreme caution advised. Further inquiries directed to gate C to B. Quite a facility they've got going on here, or should I say had going on here. Yeah, okay, here we go. Well, this is all walled off here, but it does look like there's some kind of an access road here on the left. Let's see where this takes us. Whoa, okay. Did you see that? Or was that just my imagination? It looked like there were some rocks moving around on the ground there. Oh, whoa. It happened again. Yeah, okay. Definitely something weird going on here. Let's just steer... Oh, it knocked out the light bulb there as well. Yeah, some sort of, like, an electromagnetic disturbance around here or something. Yeah, more and more, I just want to kind of push through here as fast as possible. Whoa, I'm losing control of the vehicle a little bit. Oh my god, okay, this, I'm starting to think this is a really bad idea. Oh boy. I've lost power to the vehicle. Whoa! Oh my god, the car! Oh my god, let me out, let me out, let me out. Whoa! There is stuff kind of floating all around me. It's eerily quiet here. And we have some glowing. Oh, I kind of feel it. A little tingly sensation all over. Whoa! Oh, geez, we're very close to it. Okay, in that case, let's, um, let's get a move on. Okay, parts of the car are just hovering here. Oh, geez. Hopefully I can find my lunch. All right, there's a light over here. Hopefully this leads out of this very strange area here. Okay, yeah, let's just proceed on. No need for sightseeing. I mean, that's kind of, I think that's exclusively why I came here is for sightseeing, but now I'm really not interested in that. Uh -oh. oh, is this the car? Out there? No, this is uh -oh. not. Uh, what is this? I, I think, I think Francis, I can hear. Yeah, I can hear someone over the radio of this car here. Looks like it's missing a wheel, but otherwise could be functional, I think. Isn't there a wheel that I just walked by? Ah, uh, yes, right here. Pick pick that wheel up. Pick it up. There you go. And install. Who needs lug nuts, right? It should stay on there for at least a couple of miles. Let's get in and see. Okay, what do we have here? We are missing some doors in the back. That's not particularly important. Let's see. Oh, she started right up. Yeah. These old-fashioned cars, they're extra reliable. Here, let's get the wipers. Uh, yep, we'll put it in drive. Okay, she's not handling very well, though. It must be a loose tire. I'm still picking up voices over the radio. It seems to be uh, two people, and uh, they seem to be conversing, but I don't think that they can hear me. Whoa, okay, eyes on the road. We've broken down again. Oh, I gotta get some more fuel. We ran out of fuel. Okay, let me out. Probably should have put the vehicle in park. Yeah, let's probably do that. Okay, we got a fuel can back here, but it is stuck. Let's just rip that off. This car up ahead must have a little bit of fuel for me. Hopefully, we'll pump a little bit of that out. Oh, there's an extra wheel as well. Yeah, I think we're good on wheels for now, though. Okay, we're all fueled up. Let's get back in the road. Uh, <laughs> poor choice of words. It's not really a road, is it? All right, turn it on. The guy on the radio seems to be surprised that I found a working car. All right, whoop, there we go, get some headlights going. Um, try not to damage the vehicle too much doing this, okay. Oh, there's a facility up here. Okay, whoa, my God, the wheel fell off, finally. Well, it got us this far, that's not too bad. Oppie's Auto Shop, it said. Oh, well, maybe there's some tools here I can get this vehicle fixed up with. I may never know, I can't, <laughs> I can't steer. Okay, let me out of this thing. Put her in park, turn her off, and let me out. See if we can find a way into the shop here. Okay, someone left the door open. Hello? No, this place looks basically abandoned. Here's a power switch here. Let's flip the breaker on. Whoop. Looks like they had a battery bank here somewhere, or a generator or something. Hello, uh, 
Attention, this message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We've sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Oh, now, we okay. have it on very good authority. That We've got this voices over the intercom of a here. Remnant, which has taken the form of a car. And... Give it that voice, just like a nail gun to the skull. Agreed. Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Oh, Wait, I got zapped through. So Dr. Ophelia, and this is Oppie's shops. This must be Dr. Ophelia's shop here. And she said that there was a headset in the shop here that will help me with diagnostics. Well, let's start with simple things and grab this backpack with some supplies in it. And that should help. And now I can put this headset on that helps me identify what needs fixing, I suppose. Okay, I am slightly wounded. There's a first aid kit over here. There we go. That helped. Okay, now I gotta fix the car. We'll start with the wheel this time, and I'll put some lug nuts on it. <laughs> Finger tight should be fine. Oh, this thing has kind of a nasty pull to it, but I've got her in the workshop here. Okay, in park, off, and out. Okay, there she is. Uh, headset stuff? Oh, here we go. Yes, all of the stuff that I can make to fix the car. Wheels, whoa. Bumpers. Panels, doors. I haven't discovered much of this. I'm not surprised. I've only been here for a couple of minutes. Okay, let's um, hmm. get to that a little bit later. What do we got to do now? We've got to make a crude door, right? Because we were missing the rear passenger door. Okay, we got the crude door right here. Let's add that to our to-do list. And sir, oh, right there. This abandoned car's trunk might have some supplies for us. Ah, yes, I don't have the tools to get into it, though. Toolbox here. That has a crowbar. And some... What is this? Mechanics kit and some duct tape. Okay, should be able to get into it now. There we go. Couple of flares and some plastic in there. Not particularly helpful, I don't think. What about this dumpster over here? Friendly dumpster. Oh, oh wow. A scrapper. <laughs> That surprised me. Yeah, I guess the uh, the friendly dumpster just spits out supplies for you. Okay, now I should be able to just completely scrap down this car. Okay, and with all the junk that I just tore off, hopefully we can get the new door. Let's try and see if we can make that at this workbench here. Crude door, craft. Okay, there we go. And finger weld. Find the repair putty over here. Yes, got the repair putty, the magic putty. Okay, what, what do I gotta fix with this now? Spare tire looks a little worse for the wear. I'll slap some on there. Good as new. Might need some air. I'm not sure. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. We'll have this car ship shape and ready to drive in no time. Good to go. Okay, we do have a flat tire after all. I need a ceiling kit. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Just blast that air straight into it. While we're at it, we'll fix that loose wheel that we had throw some boxes in the trunk so that we have some storage and a rudimentary crafting mat so we can make materials on the fly and we now need to hook up this arc device somewhere passenger side is fine you guys will have to sit in the back i guess okay i'm gonna grab some extra first aid kits and supplies that were in this locker here and i guess just stash some of this stuff into the vehicle got my first blueprint here okay makes no sense to me another one this one's for an impact hammer very interesting. Can I make one of those? I think we'll find out in a second. Let's fuel her up. Give the battery an old charge. Hey, set. Take a look at the projector against the wall. And I think we're almost ready to at least set this out on our first sun. trip. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye. And it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, You'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Right, so it looks like we're on a little bit of a supply run now. Okay, things got much fancier in here all of a sudden. Ignition. 
drive. Don't need windshield wipers. And uh, I don't know which way we're going. Are we going left or right? We're going left. I've right, got about a three hour drive to our destination. Let's do it. Uh, okay, yeah, we made it. Okay, we gotta get the antenna fixed back at the station there. The young device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Got it. And with the impact hammer, I should be able to smash these open for the raw plasma. There we go. That's what we want. All right, this place here appears to be fully looted. I did pull out some food and first aid and just knickknacks out of here. There's also something called a transmuter, which is in this trailer right here. And it appears it's kind of difficult to see in here. That's why I didn't show you earlier. But yeah, there it appears as though you can use whatever this is and rubber to make, I think that's a, maybe a gas cylinder or or maybe it goes the other way, I'm not sure. It says transmuter rubber, perhaps another time. Let's hey, get back uh, on the road. Uh, driver. I decided to turn the radio off. That was the, the, the back and forth, the banter there is a little bit much for me right now. It's a little information overload. I've got enough on my plate to deal with just out here in the world. Let's, um, whoa. Try not to get zapped by that. I do want to see if I can get some of this plasma here, though. Okay, is there a pattern to this, or I'm not sure. Let's just try to be fast about this. Come on. Whoop. We good? Oh, yeah, that turned it off, so that's good. Yeah, turn off all the errant electricity charges. That'll be helpful for later, probably. Whoa, 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 whoop. Stop right here. What is that thing over there? Um, I'm getting out like I have some means of attacking that. I do not. I need to go over here and actually scan one of these generators. Oh my goodness, there's another one there. Okay. Whoop. Floating rocks. Yeah, just keep... keep. Oh, there's a lot of danger out here. I don't, I'm don't. i not really comfortable right now. Here. Whoop. Uh, do the scan first. Scan it with my fancy headset. And then, whoop. Don't get shocked. Okay, and we're going in for the kill shot now. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, faster! Woo! I, I think I'm still getting slightly electrocuted. It's just some residual electricity in here, I guess. Whoa! Got another one here. Hopefully that does not irritate the floating machine. Okay, I think I'm in danger. I'm, I'm getting that tingly sensation that I got when I was in the radiation before. Go! Oh. Something's mad at me. There's another something from the something outside. Okay, I, I'm leaving now. Time to go. What is going on out here, anyway? Just an angry flying robot, I guess. That's my cue. Let's, um, let's get away from that side of town. Reverse. Full reverse now. Fast, fast, fast. That thing is going straight toward me. And it stopped. Okay. I, we need to get around that. I'm pretty sure... Well, well let's look at the map briefly. Yeah, we need to continue straight on this road, I think. We could potentially take a shortcut to the left here. Oh, yes, that's things mad now. Uh-oh. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Don't crash. Don't crash. Just keep going. Keep going. Uh, there are mannequins stuck in the ground over here. That's very weird. Okay, okay, okay. Stop it right here. Where am I? What are we doing now? Whoa, we're next to the electricity. Moving right along. Whoop, the car is... Getting zapped up a little bit. Uh-oh. All right, let's press on. We're on our way to the radio station so that we can collect materials to build the antenna or collecting an antenna itself, perhaps. Uh-oh. Whoa, man. Instability is strong in this area. Yes, here it is. Is this what I need right here? Yes, the broadcast transmitter. Perfect. Time to get moving. The instability is starting to ramp up around here. Okay, no time to gather supplies. Let's get back in the vehicle. All right, we need to take a look at the map here and go toward these circular areas where there are anchor sites, perhaps? Something important. All right, we'll just go investigate. I wonder if I can take a quick shortcut off the side of the cliff here. Okay. Hey, whatever gets the job done. There we go. All right, we're going off-road a little bit. One of the sites is just up ahead here. Yes, I think this is what we're looking for. Let's just run up here, do a quick smash and grab. Whoop. Give me that. Twist it right off. There we go. And, whoa, this thing is hot. Whoa. My car, man. Okay, <laughs> careful with this stuff. Toss that into the arc device, right? There you go. Oh my, one of those things. Let me in, let me in, let me in. And drive! Oh, it doesn't seem to be mad at me. <laughs> Wait until it finds out that I stole that little orb thing. 
It's gonna be pissed. All right, I'm gonna rip another one off. What's the worst that could happen here? Toss it in, toss it in. And is that enough for us to get out of here? This is like the juice that's gonna power up the arc device to transport us home, I think. I think we've reached the required charge level on the right there. Let's just, um, oh, link to the gateway. Which one do we want to go to? This one seems a little bit closer. Okay. I think it works. Okay, that's not not a road that we can use. We're going back this way. Just check the map there. Okay, you gotta navigate. I can't drive and look at the map at the same time. Okay, turn right over the cliff here, down the hill. Hopefully not a cliff. It looks kind of cliffy over here though. Uh oh, yeah, is th did we do this? Is that the instability over there? That looks really bad. Drive, drive, it says. I'm driving as fast as I can. Where are we going? Okay, we gotta turn left a little bit. Oh, I've lost control. Ah, crap, vehicle protection has been compromised. Yeah, we'll get out and take a look in just a second. I think this is our destination. I think we're driving into the flaming yellow plasma over there. Oh yeah, the, it's closing in around us, the instability. Let's get in here. I think this is our only ticket back to the shop. Let me in here. Right, wow. Back to the future, or back to the Oppie's shop, I guess. Okay, so we definitely took some vehicle damage there. We, uh, it looks like the left rear quarter panel is damaged, and otherwise, maybe the hood a little bit, but looks pretty good. Looks okay, at least. Serviceable. Right, let's, uh, put her in park and get out and take a closer look. Yes, the panel on the back took a little bit of damage. I think we might have lost a headlight, and this one took a little bit of damage as well. Okay, so for our next trip out, we need to make sure we've got all the bells and whistles here. Bumpers, doors, panels, upgraded wheels, headlights, the whole shebang. Okay, I've been tasked with breaking into the back room. That was easy. And here is a fabrication station. Oh, fancy. And this tells me, wow, all of the things. I think, wait, garage. Yeah, these are like crafting stations, advanced antenna. Junction bypass, incident board, upgrades to lockers for storage, upgraded workbenches, repair station, a fish tank. Interesting. So this is all stuff that I can research over time. Look, puncture-proof tires. That sounds like it would be handy. Currently, we are on spare tires. We haven't even researched regular summer tires yet. To do that, it requires... Oh, does this require stable energy? No, it's... Uh, I think so, yes, but we also have to install the scanning antenna. Did I... Did I skip a step here? I think we gotta go install the antenna on the roof. That's what they were talking about before. Guess it helps if you research it first. There we go. Oh. Oh, it just spat it out. There. Okay, now I can go set it up. Uh, up there. Oh, there it goes. That's, um... Big things come in small packages, I guess. Oh, look at this, extra stuff here. Okay, this is a handbrake, which it wants me to install in the car. So the car has some special ability slots. Uh, it, it's difficult for me to see from here. Let's get this installed and we'll test it out. Open the hood up and toss it right in there. Is that good? All right, let's get inside and see if that applied. Yeah, on the left there, the left here, there are four special ability slots for the vehicle, and I think I can interchange these, and then I have bindings where I can kind of activate them. So yes, we want slot one to be the handbrake, so that we can, um, you know, drift. I think the dumpster has some more stuff for us. What do you got this time? Oh! A cargo trunk. Well, that's that could be handy. Give me that stuff, too. And let's just... Huck that down on the ground, a little bit of extra storage for us, I guess. Oh, okay, now we just have like a long list of stuff to do to the vehicle. <laughs> Recommended, yeah, they recommend that I fix the vehicle before I head back out, I'm, I agree with that. Let's get to work. Okay, I'm gonna use some of my stable energy that I think we got on the last mission there to research the steel sheet. Okay, yeah, very, very interesting. Okay, now I know how to make steel sheets. And with that technology, I think I can unlock further things to make with the steel sheets, like a steel door. 
Okay, we'll learn how to make that. And how about a steel panel as well? And we're starting to kind of run low on the stable energy stuff there. Let's go with a headlight and the summer tire. And that is all of my stable energy. Okay, so now I know how to make this. We just gotta make a bunch of it. Steel sheet, another steel sheet, steel door steel panel and all just the stuff is like laying around everywhere now let's get it onto the vehicle there's the new steel door oh fancy okay yeah we definitely have to work on getting some more steel then because that looks a lot better than what we had on there before here we go got another one a, a front quarter panel for the driver's side over here place that in and we've got summer tires all around no this is a spare tire over here Oh, that must be why the vehicle pulls so hard to the right. So maybe see if I can get that replaced. There we go. Remove and toss. Grab and place. Okay. And that spare tire should probably just go into storage in case we get one while we're out and about. Okay, it looks like we need another coat of repair putty all around. Fuel her up, charge the battery. Some first aid for myself probably helps. And I'd say that's pretty much good. It wants me to do some more stuff, but I don't have the materials. I need to spend some more time out and about gathering some stuff. So let's see if we can plan another route. Hopefully somewhere safe. Let's head to this one here. It seems pretty tame. And see if we can get some more supplies over there. Okay, we're in the new zone and it seems like more of the familiar materials. So I think we need plasma. Whoop, I got electrocuted a little bit slightly. Let's take out this one over here too. Yeah, we need that plasma for sure. I just don't quite remember what that was for. I do know this is our basically our currency, I guess, for doing research, so yes, grab that. Oh, wait a minute. I think by taking those it increases the instability in the region and therefore might reduce the amount of time that we can spend here. Not exactly sure. Oh my, look at that. There's like a saw blade. All right, it just passed by. Definitely try to watch out for that thing. All right, I'm gonna park it here for a minute. I'm gonna see if I can loot this little compound here. Except for those um, anomalies. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm actually parked over there. Um, he's not gonna destroy my, no! Stop that, stop it! I'll punch you with the impact hammer. Oh my God, these things are everywhere. Okay, I'm up and over and my ankles are good. Yeah, I don't know what those things are up to, but they keep doing like strafing runs of my vehicle. I don't like that. Oh my, I think it's grabbed me and yanked me into some trees. Oh, I have no control, uh-oh. Right, let's just get back onto the road then. Another anomaly here. I'm supposed to be scanning stuff while I'm here, so let's make sure that we do that. Okay, yeah, some kind of a corrosive slime, I guess. Okay, we never did try out the handbrake. Let's get some speed going down this little hill and see how it works. Looks like we're at the end of the line anyway. Okay, handbrake. <laughs> yes, it's definitely a brake. I don't know about like a drifting kind of brake though. Starting to definitely see the utility in off-road tires because <laughs> this is kind of awful on the off-road areas. Oh, I just got a transmission that there's something moving into the area. See that big green blob? That looks bad and it's moving in our direction. I think we need to find a way to not get caught up in that, I think. So whoop, put her in drive and I'm gonna head, um, I'm gonna head straight ahead, I guess, to the southeast. See if we can avoid this storm. Okay, I've made it to another one of these arc thingies here. So I'm just gonna hop out and immediately grab it. The storm is kind of still moving directly toward us and I'm getting that fizzly sensation again. Here, drop it in there, fast, close the door. All right, let's go. Uh, how much, we have like no time and I'm facing the wrong direction. We gotta get out. Oh, is that the storm right there? Yep, that definitely is. We gotta move, we gotta move. I think we're gonna get caught up in it. It's, yeah, I can feel it's pulling the vehicle. Oh no, we're just gonna see if we can push through. Oh, this storm's making a mess of everything. Oh boy, I just don't wanna get stuck in the eye of the storm, you know. Oh, it's just pulling the vehicle all over the place right now. Whoa, go oh, jeez. Very dangerous, very, very dangerous. And uh, watch out for the, um, the corrosive plasma yellow stuff too. Whoa, okay. This stuff is all over the place. Should we just kind of like park it and, and 
and not try to drive through the storm. Uh, we're so close to the edge of it. Just keep going. Watch out for the spinning saw blade. It's, um, yep, right there. It's gone. Keep going. Okay, I have full control again. And we are relatively close to, I think, the last arc device. So by grabbing this, we might trigger the um, instability a lot. So we got to be kind of prepared to just get out of here as fast as possible. Is that what happened? Or uh, we have 4.2... No, I think everything is stable, but I can actually trigger... Oh no, things are not stable right now. Why is there a ring closing down on me in the map? Is this closing down? I have to go through... Gateway, too close. I gotta go to this gateway then. Fair enough. I, this ring is closing down... Whoa, very fast now. I don't know if I can get to that ring over there. Jeez, I guess this is the, the big test. Oh, I got zapped. Okay, there there is no longer a safe zone on the map. I don't know what is going on right now. It is not looking good, though. It says drive. Just drive. Doesn't help that there is a gigantic mountain in the way from where I'm supposed to go right now. Uh, we're, we gotta kind of stay in this valley here, but yeah, the sky is not looking too hot right now. What the hell is that? Oh my god, it's just spitting car doors out of the void. Oh, now it's a red circle. Mm, bad, bad, and I've, I've selected a bad route. You're supposed to be a navigator here. Turn the lights on. The light. I think I have one light. Oh, and it's one of those robot things. It found me. Yes, pull me. Pull me fast. Yes! We got a super boost from this guy. Oh, that's a tree. Oh my god, that hurt bad. But it might have saved us in the long run. Protection is compromised. The ring is closing in fast. Here we go. This is the home stretch right here. Just don't hit that car. And don't get sucked into that anomaly over there. Yep. At the 11th hour, I think we're gonna just scoot out of here. With our life and our vehicle mostly intact. We have some massive repairs to do, but here we go. Send me home. That was fun. Very, very close too. Man, this car sucks. We got some work to do. Well, there's your problem right there. That tire got completely shredded somehow. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, we got some more stuff to do. Repair and prepare. That's the name of the game right now, I guess, is just getting the vehicle in condition enough so that, oh. Yeah, does this tell me what's wrong? Oh, definitely, yeah. Massive repairs are needed. We need tires, we need headlights, we need a battery jumper. I don't know if I got the materials to make the battery jumper, though. Well, let's get the repair putty out. So I fixed the tire, but something tells me this tire just ain't worth it anymore. Let's see if I can get any off-road tires. I can research it. It uses 0.6 of the stable energy, but we're up to 4.2, so we've made some excellent progress there on that last resource run. We didn't get some of the component materials, but we did get some stuff for research at least. And this is a side rack upgrade. I don't know exactly where this goes though. Okay, and so that installs. We have front left, rear left. I guess anyone works. And I think I can attach stuff to that. Anyway, we got the off-road tires and I've been complaining about that. So let's go ahead. I think I have enough resources for two. I do not. I need more rubber. I have enough resources for one. We have one off-road tire. Probably not the most efficient way to get around, but I'll take it for now. Six hour travel time to get to this one right here. I suppose we can give that one a try. Well, it might not be in perfect condition, but I think it'll get the job done. Let's go. All right, here we are at E1 Sierra. Town Center Damp Forest Outer Zone. Oh my goodness. This place is busy. Okay. Well, what are we here to do? Those are the gateways to get out of here. Okay. Um, I have enough juice to make the jump. I picked up some juice at the last place. Get the windshield wipers on. So, oh geez. Let's just stay on the road here and try to loot as we go, but I have a feeling this one said that there would be a timer, so we might be on the clock right now to get some loot and get out of here in one piece. Okay, this must be it right here. Oh, 
Hang on a second, I've arrived, and now there's a big yellow circle kind of further ahead in town. Oh my god, what is it with the mannequins? Where, did, where, where, is there a mannequin factory around here or something? They got taken over by the anomaly? Oh, what is that, is that it? On the back of this truck here? Here, park it. Let's get out of here and scan this at least. What is that? Glittering boulder. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know about hitting ramps uh, with the condition of the car right now. Let's go around. Ooh, I just noticed my health is at 31%. What, what is happening to me? Is there... Oh, there's radiation right. Well, no, I don't have any radio radiation on the meter there, but... Yeah, something's hitting me, and I need to figure out how to heal up. More ramps. No thanks. Gonna go through this way. Okay, and I think we, we can stop here. A couple of buildings to go through. Shut her down. I think I have some first aid kits in the back here. Let's see if we can take one of those. Yep, just rub some bandages on my forehead. That usually works. All right, is there... Can I... Yeah, I can just drop those, by the way, and... Get some ambient light. There's a steel car here. These are pretty valuable. These can give you the steel sheets straight up. All right, and then there's this arc lightning thing that keeps kind of pulsating through the area. Nothing of any particular interest inside other than some fancy artwork. We'll try the place across the road then. Loot, more loot, and a little bit more loot over here. Okay, I think the real <laughs> draw to this area is whatever the heck is going on over there. Some floating... Connexes, or... Oh, those are train cars. Train cars and looks like a railroad that got all tore up in the anomaly or instability or whatever we're calling this stuff. Okay. Uh, yep. Shut everything up. Let's get ready to move. See what's going on down here. Radiation actually is going on down here, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. I can see it. I can see the green stuff. Yep. Whoop! Mannequins! Just... Whoa! That made someone very unhappy. What happened to the vehicle? Oh, we just took, like, generalized damage. Put it in park. I don't want to roll back into the spinning saw teeth here. Yes, the stable anchor. Grab that. Oh, man. Drop it in there. Okay, let's try to get out of here without... Whoa! Something threw the car. Oh, I hit one of those little geyser things. Right. Um, don't hit those again. Ah! Oh, no! My car is in rough shape. Okay, we've got to get out of here. I got to drive up the bridge to get closer to the anomaly, but I can barely see what I'm doing right now. Pretty sure my car is just on the verge of explosion at this point. Okay, well, this area over here seems kind of safe enough. Let's, geez, put it in park for a second. Can I, like, just assess the damage? We still got wheels everywhere. <laughs> I think things are okay. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, my car rolled backwards into a mannequin. Those are landmines, so no more running over mannequins. Whoop, one right there. Jeez, I don't know if this vehicle's gonna make it back in one piece or not. I'm harvesting up as much as I can while I'm here. Lighting is a big issue. I did see that you can make yourself a flashlight and some kind of a lantern, but we're a bit of a ways off from that right now. These road flares are nice, but they last all of like five seconds. Let's found some canned food here. I just ate a little bit. That gives me some healing. Up here though, there is a button, which maybe I should scan that first. Anything interesting I can scan on that? I guess not. Just flip it then. Flip the switch. What could, what's the worst that could happen? Are we gonna drive the vehicle straight up into this or? Ah, I just read through the log entry here. This gives you, a, there are speed boosts. So that's, we, we're taking the car there for sure. It's, it's, it's confirmed. <laughs> Let's go get the car. All right. Are you ready to go fast or what? I know I'm ready as soon as I get the vehicle and drive. Okay, let's do it. I don't know what's gonna... Oh! Stuff is kind of popping up here. Oh, I hope I get a lot of speed because I'm feeling very slow right now. There we go. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. Jeez. Straight into the garage. That was not necessary. The vehicle is pretty much totaled now. Oh, geez. Come on. Bring her back inside. We're gonna have a huge repair project to do, I'm sure. All right. Shut her down. Okay, well, it's, um... It's, everything's still intact. Man, we gotta get this lifted. The, the, the rubber is gonna be rubbing up against the wheel well. Okay, I did collect a ton of stuff out of there. Look, this whole thing is full, and it was empty when I left, so... Try to get this out and sorted somehow. All right, I'm gonna get this thing patched up the best I can and we'll see what it looks like at least.
and there we go. I did it. I upgraded the vehicle entirely to steel and put some off-road tires on it, and it's already looking way meaner. I even got some side storages. It's a side storage over here, which is quite small compared to the main storage, which is over here, but also got this side fuel tank. We do need to test the off-road capability. Let's try to head up this hill here. I think this would have been impossible with the regular tires, so kind of interested to see how we do here. Just, whoop, mannequin. Ah, I blew up. It's not a mannequin though, it's a crash test dummy. I got a closer look in the light and I can clearly see that. But yeah, the game is very much focused on this story, which very early on I, I, I get tired of, um, pausing what I'm doing to kind of listen to dialogue and so I turned all of that off and I was kind of haphazardly reading the dialogue as it came over like the subtitles but for the most part I think you do have to kind of pay attention to that if you're going to progress with the story in the full game but that is it for this version of the game this game is set to release on I believe it is February 22nd so if you're interested in picking this up there will be a link in the description down below. You can head over to the Steam page and add it to your wish list. And as far as I know, this is a very original kind of unique concept for a game. I've never played a game quite like this before. It doesn't mean, you know, one doesn't exist, but I think for what this game does, it does pretty well. Let's just hit this speed boost here just for the heck of it and see what happens. Oh, there we go. We need more of those in the world. Oh my God. Okay, and I think that's where I'm going to leave things off. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure, and I will see you, hopefully, in the next one. Oh, I left the stabilized area, and I fell through the map. Yes, a very fitting way to close things out. Goodbye, cruel world. Is there a bottom? Oh my god, I'm back in my vehicle. All right, guys, quick thank you to Ironwood Studios for sending me a copy of the key for the game, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.